If you woke up this morning and you had a piece of toast for breakfast, did you think about where the electricity came from? Did you wonder how it arrived at your home? Or did you think about how, if misused, electricity can cause injury? Well, if you're like most people, these things probably didn't even cross your mind. We tend to flip a switch or plug in an appliance and take for granted that electricity will be there to provide for our basic needs. If misused, electricity can be very dangerous and even deadly. You can't see, smell, taste, or hear electricity, so that makes it even more important that you understand how it works. And to help you understand electricity, there are a few terms that you must know because electricity is rather complex. By definition, electricity is the flow or motion of electrons through a conductor. Electricity is measured by its voltage and current. Current is the flow of electricity through wires. It can be likened to the flow of water through pipes. Voltage is the force or pressure of the electricity. It can be likened to water pressure through pipes. A material that allows for the easy flow of electricity is a conductor. The most common conductors used in the utility system are copper and aluminum. An insulator is the opposite of a conductor and does not allow for the easy flow of electricity. Porcelain and rubber are examples of insulators. Even at relatively low levels, voltage and current, if mishandled, have the potential to cause injury. Even the amount of electricity running through your home, if not handled safely, can cause injury or even death if it interrupts your heart's natural rhythm. Electricity becomes dangerous for people when direct contact with electricity is made. By nature, electricity is always looking for all quick and easy paths to the earth. And when it gets to the earth, it is distributed in the soil. The human body is a very good conductor of electricity because it is made mostly of water, which is a conductor. If you were to touch a wire that had electricity running through it, the electricity would use your body as a quick path to the earth. As you can imagine, electricity running through your body can cause severe injury and even death. We use electricity multiple times every day, but where does it come from and how does it get to your wall outlet? Before electricity can arrive at your home or business, it makes several stops along the way. A basic electrical utility system is made up of power plants, transmission lines, distribution lines, substations, transformers, and meters. Each piece of equipment plays a role in delivering electricity to you. To help you stay safe around electricity, it's important to understand how electricity travels to your home, what equipment is used to deliver it, and the potential safety issues posed along the way.